Well, certainly uh, proud of this group, and uh, and tonight it was fun to see how this team finished the year, and and uh, I think they did it in a fashion that was together, you, you know, and and uh, put it out there. Number of guys made plays. Uh, thought all three phases did a lot to help us win the game, but but most importantly, I, I loved how this team played tonight. And I think they did just that. They played the game, and they played it together, and it was uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Coach, I wanted to uh, ask uh, you guys see something there on the left-hand side? Uh, because it felt like you guys were attacking the left side of that Trojan defense pretty steadily throughout the night. Yeah, we, we did. Uh, you know that was part of our plan going in, and and I think it was uh, it was much maybe our personnel as it was theirs, and uh, and you know I thought we were able to get enough things going in the run game, which was helpful, and and I thought that we protected well, and and I thought Joel and a num you know threw the ball and well, and and a number of guys made plays. You know it was good having Rob back, and uh, but I think it was just uh, overall. A lot of guys chipped in, and it was that was fun about it. <coughs> Joel obviously chipped in with a heck of a game, and, and Corey was having, I mean, he actually set his career high, unfortunately, on the carry where he was injured. Were you guys aware that he'd been put, putting in that load, and, and how much of that game was he in the initial game plan? How important was he to you in the game plan? I'm trying to remember all that. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, Corey was, you know, we, we were hoping to, you know, Corey had practiced and we were hoping to uh, get some out of it. You know, I think you just gauge how guys are playing and um, and didn't feel like he was overly taxed at the time. And, you know, I thought I thought we had a number of guys give us. I know Dari had a couple big runs. Derek had a couple big runs. You know, Corey certainly gave us that. And it was, uh, the thing I liked was best about this game was I thought we, a ton of guys chipped in, and that was uh, that was fun to see. Uh, Paul. Coach, at any level, whether it be practice or game, have you ever seen anybody get three sacks before tonight, like in three consecutive plays? Seen it in practice <laughs> <laughs> more than we'd like. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was uh, pretty unique. You know, just for the the circumstances, and I thought it was a big, you know, the way tilted the field, and uh, you know, Sitch played a heck of a game. That's why he's sitting next to us here. But uh, it was big. I thought we had a lot of guys uh, contribute. In, but it was uh, – I don't think I have seen that. Paul, was there any concern with, with Jack having to sit out that first half that he might try to do too much? I guess didn't turn out to be that way. And how would you summarize Joel's final game? Hey, lock in, Joel. <laughs> Joel just said he forgot about that. Like, forgot he couldn't play in the first how, how would you summarize his, his final game, the way he played Joel? Well, I think, uh, no, I wasn't worried about Sitch doing too much. And, um, you know, I thought he just kept increasingly getting better and better. And, and so, um, and yet I appreciate it was good. You know, Chris did some good things, Chris Orr. And, um, and then I think Joel, I thought he, thought he played really well and uh, gave us a chance to win and had to come up with, Big plays, and uh, and we did, and um, you know I think that we did a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands, and and didn't take the negative plays, but I, the thing I'll remember most about Joel is his competitiveness, and uh, I thought that he played with all that tonight. Coach, right here, um, it seemed tonight after the game there was a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So what did it mean? Uh, to you and I guess to the players and your program to win the Holiday Bowl? It certainly means a lot to win your last game. And, you know, for me personally, this team meant a lot because it's, it's, it's made up of a great group of individuals that are unselfish, care a ton about each other. And so for us to finish this way, means everything and um, you know what we do with this going forward 
that's for next year's team to to work on and, and to, to make reality. But told the kids going into this, this game was going to be about finishing this season. And uh, you know what I thought? I thought we did. I loved the way they prepared throughout bowl prep, and, and it wasn't always easy. And we had final exams going on, and um, but they did everything we asked of them. And I think they're a fun group to be around. You know, they'll work, but they'll enjoy it, and uh, they make every day being the coach a lot of fun. Jack, you uh, you had to stay in the locker room for the first half, correct? Yes. What, what was that like? And uh, you know, having to stay in there and then... W he's been grounded before he's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> did that make you kind of extra amped to get out there in the second half? Yes and no. Um, I mean, it obviously sucked being in the locker room while my team was out there. I kind of feel like I let him down. I wanted to be out there with him. So it was, it was awful being in there. I was just talking to myself. I was yelling at the TV. Um, but, uh, and I think mainly when I came out, I didn't want to... I wanted to let the game come to me. I didn't want to... I wanted to ease into it kind of but uh obviously with uh how my d-line was playing and coach Randa's play calling that didn't really uh i wasn't really eased into it kind of just thrown into it but worked out for the best and uh it was awesome joel what'd you do to your nose and was there any way you weren't coming back into that game um well, i got kicked in the face pretty good so i don't know if it's broken or what but it's, it's bleeding a lot <laughs> um uh, but i mean I knew, I mean, my head was fine and my vision was fine, so I didn't see any reason why I wouldn't come back in. I mean, we can stuff stuff up my nose to make sure it doesn't keep bleeding and, you know, keep going. <laughs> Jack, was there a uh, particular sack out of those three that felt the best? Just I mean, the third one probably felt the best and worst. I mean, by that point, I was out of breath. And everyone swarmed me, so I couldn't really breathe. But, I mean, that was obviously the best one. Kind of just built up and then popped the top on that one, I guess. Cool. What's it like to go out like this with the win over You know, it's, it's fun. Uh, you know, I thought for this group of seniors, for, you know, the group of guys, how much we've been through to, you know, be able to finish this way, um, you know, with a tremendous team win like that, offense, I thought, did a good job. Defense played great, like always. Um, special teams did a good job. So, I, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to, you know, all the things that we've been through with this group, uh, you know, to finish it, beating a really good team like USC, um, you know, feels good. Coach, how much does momentum play a role? We like to talk a lot about momentum, either a bowl win or a bowl loss. How much does it really mean? going into the next two, three weeks recruiting all that good stuff other than either feeling really good or feeling really bad about yourself for a couple days? Yeah, I, I don't think you ever know because you don't have one, you don't have two examples, right? You can't, how was it this week? You know what, it feels great because it's, uh, you know, we came out with the intent to enjoy this bowl and I think our players did and, and appreciate all that the Holiday Bowl did for us. And we always felt like it was our job to then return it by playing well. And, you know, ask the team to play their best game of the year. And that's what we were shooting for, and I, and I think we might have. And, you know, what we – how it carries forward the momentum, you know, I think it's, out, it's up to us and what we choose to do with it, whether it's for next year's team or in recruiting. Whatever that may be, I, I don't know, but it's uh, I sure appreciate this group, and uh, you know it's up to us to to make it be a positive where the momentum is in our favor. For Jack, uh, you've had to wait your turn behind some pretty decent linebackers. What what does tonight mean to you, and does it feel real at this point? Um, I mean, it means a lot, but I think being behind Vince, Joe. And uh, even my freshman year, Army and uh, Chris Borland, I think it's only helped me. I mean, so you can look at it like I'm not playing, it's, it sucks, but, or you can kind of look at it as, as an uh, opportunity to grow. I think uh, I've taken the opportunity and I've grown a lot. I got a long way to go, but um, yeah, I guess it feels real. Paul, um, I don't want to start looking ahead to next year already, but Vince, Beagle, Vince Beagle has announced he's coming back. I'm guessing you knew this. What? 
what can he give you? And I'm guessing you're pretty excited about having him back. Yeah, I, I mean, people, are, and you know it from watching us, he gives us a ton of, he's a really good football player. It gives his team a ton of energy and um, has a great purpose and drive to him. And uh, I'm excited to get one more year to be able to be with him. You know, wish there's a lot of these guys I wish I had more time with, and, and you don't. And, and yet I appreciate how they've allowed us to maximize the time that we did have. Joel, what was your biggest takeaway from USC's defense, what they show you? <clears throat> you know, they're a really athletic group. Um, I think they move around really well. Um, you know, they're not going to tr really try and trick you. They're going to line up in what they want to play, and they're going to play it. And, um, you know, I think because of that, we were able to do some things just because we had a good feel for what they were going to do defensively. Um, but, you know, I think the big takeaway is they were, they're a good group. They're a really good defense. They're really athletic. Um, you know, and we had to make sure that we just executed and really stayed ahead of the chains um, because when we were able to do that, we were able to, you know, sustain drives. Jack, I've been covering USC for a long time, and I've never seen uh, someone sack them, sack the quarterback three straight times. What was the difference? What did you see out there? What weren't they doing, and what allowed you to do that? <coughs> well, on uh, on film, we saw that they uh, their a gaps were open a lot on pass pro, so uh, Aranda schemed up a lot of, a lot of blitzes that um, that attacked that uh, that deficiency, I guess. And honestly, I mean, once once would be great, but three times it's kind of just luck of the draw. That was a big play, you know, and they, I thought, you know, again, I thought it's kind of what Sitch was talking about with, you know, I thought we had a great plan and, and guys went out and executed it. And I thought the same thing with our special teams and, and guys, we knew it was going to be a, you talk about a heck of a football player. And, and obviously earlier we were kicking away from him and uh, they kind of got us on the switch, the, the play before and, uh, you know, made the adjustment, but more importantly, you know, Jack executed it. You know, it was a heck of a kick for him, and, and I thought the punt coverage unit, you know, that was a big part. You know, the, we went into this thing, you know, where the return game was, uh, it scared us, you know, and that we knew we had to rise up to that challenge, and, and the kids did. You know, I thought, like I said, it was, that was a good plan, but most importantly, the players executed it, and uh, I do. I think that all three phases really had a big part in this victory. And that's, I think, what makes it feel the best is it, it took everyone and uh, everyone pitched in. And it was, uh, I think that's what makes it special. Coach, we saw Derek Watt involved a lot more in the offense in this game than we've seen all season. Was that something where you were just trying to give another look? Or was there a specific thing you saw about USC's defense that would see them vulnerable in that way? A little bit of both, you know. I mean, it, we wouldn't have done it if we didn't think that it had a chance to be successful. And and I think that, you know, again, guys, you know, on the on the runs, you know, everyone doesn't just happen, right? You know, and uh, thought he did a nice job on the on the catch that he had. Uh, kind of had a big hit on one, and then uh, I think you know Derek's a heck of a football player, and uh, you know, we've always gone in looking for ways we could use him, but. Um, I appreciate what he did to get ready for this game. You know, he had surgery after the Minnesota game and got himself back, and uh, it was fun to see him finish it out the right way. We'll do one more. Uh, Joel, uh, wheelwright's catch there. Uh, said so you have in the red zone, top of your head. Where does that rank? <coughs> that, was <laughs> <laughs> that was. That was impressive. Um, you know, that was something that he's really been he's been doing that more often than you'd think in practice. So sometimes it's kind of, come on, Rob, get two hands out there. But that one was a tough catch. And, you know, I don't think he really would have been able to get two hands out there. So to see him go up with one hand and pull it down like that on a big third down to, you know, set up a score for us, that was, that was pretty sweet to see.